it's Coach Rod. It's Coach Rod Football. Bring you the next video in the installment of Answers to Their Answers. We are talking about stick, the stick concept. Uh, last video we talked about it, uh, the two by two. Today I'm going to talk about it, the three by one. I'm going to show it just out of one side. I mean, it essentially duplicates in the same side as well. Um, so stay tuned for this. I'm going to show you how we answer the defense's answers uh, in our stick concept out of three by one. You can see here I have our early formation drawn up here and our basic stick concept drawn out of it. Uh, I kind of just drew it up into a normal defense that we typically see. A lot of times we will see a three-man down line in front, but a lot of times they will drop either this linebacker down or this one as well. We traditionally see a one-high safety look here. Uh, so, again, this is essentially the same concept out of two by two or three by one. Uh, the only difference is um, in two by two, the running back or F in our, in our offense is running the swing uh, out of three by one. This is early you're looking at here. Late would be the other side. We have H running essentially uh, the swing route. He's running an arrow route or a flat route, either one. And essentially that is just parallel right along the line of scrimmage. Our Z, our middle receiver, who is always on the line of scrimmage out of our early or late formations, is running the stick route. Uh, whatever, whatever outside receiver to the trip side is running the vertical, and our backside is running a three-step slant. And then our running back, we can we can tell him either to stay in as pass pro, or if not, he is swinging out opposite of where the concept is going. So he's swinging out backside and it doesn't necessarily matter. We will have him lined up either on the trip side or opposite. It doesn't really matter. He's still going to swing to the opposite uh, of the concept side. So I just kind of want to just show you a, a few looks that we see and how we typically answer these, uh, these looks. Um, a lot of times, very rarely do we see a traditional three down lineman look. Uh, a lot of times what we will see is if we come out in our early or late formation, a lot of times they will drop this linebacker down and shift these two defenders over. That safety never moves a lot of times. Um, and we will see this and they will love to blitz this player off the backside. So um, a lot of times we will see him coming right off the edge, unblocked, which is fine for us because there are a couple of answers we can do to this. Again, real easily, we could hit our H on the flat route. It's basically our now route right there. We could also here, if he sees this backer coming on the outside right here, he can either swing it out to the running back immediately. And a lot of times, especially if we do that early, if we do that early in a game, um, what that will do is typically if this linebacker does decide to pop down here like this, um, that will slow down his rush and he will be conscious of, of the running back, whether the running back's on this side or the quarterback on the concept side or on the back side. And a lot of times that will negate this rush right there. But say for example, they bring that linebacker down, but then they also bring this one down too, which we have seen. And then they will shift this safety over here. Again, a couple little answers with this as well. Because we are running our vertical route with our Y, that typically takes oops, oops, that typically takes the corner out. So again, quarterback makes a quick, easy read right here, and he hits the flat route. He's again, then he's just simply reading this defender right here, who is head up or typically inside of our middle receiver or our Z in this case, okay? And again, the rules stays the same as two by two. If he stays in, we throw out. If he goes out, we throw into the stick. Okay, because a lot of times, a lot of times defenses we see, whichever side the running back is aligned to, that turns into that linebacker, that particular middle linebacker's responsibility. So if he swings out a lot of times, for example, on this side, that linebacker will go with him. And a lot of times we like to put our running back on our trip side just to make it look like an overload look. 
pressure looks here too as well sometimes again most of the time we see this pressure here but we see this linebacker coming off the edge uh again there are a few things we can do with this again i talked about it we can hit the slant backside depending on the leverage of this corner and if that linebacker comes and he's, we're looking for that space right there we can hit that we can hit the swing opposite concept side because there's no one out there especially if this corner goes with that slant we can take a look and, and also hit the H on the flat route, depending on what this linebacker does as well. So there are a couple things we can do here. Now, if that linebacker still sits up here and all of a sudden they walk these two linebackers up for middle pressure right down right here. Again, that helps us too here because this linebacker might shift over. We've seen that happen in the past where he just shifts over and he covers and is responsible for the entire middle. Again, if he does that, we can hit backside on the backside slant. Or, depending on what he does, he gets a quick peek over there. He can also read and play the concept right here. Still playing the concept with these two guys right here. Again, reading this guy first. If this guy follows the stick, then he throws the out. If this guy goes with the out, then he throws the stick in behind it. Okay, so there are a couple of things we can do there. Again, this blitz doesn't really matter because... The speed and the progression of the play is meant to have the ball basically in the quarterback's hands. He's taking his one step planting and the ball's out. So he's making his decision immediately where he's going just by a simple little look to one to two defenders. Okay. Now in this kind of look right here, we are looking for a blitz, obviously in our pre-snap. And if we can see a blitz coming right here, we're looking to see how we can attack that blitz or replace that blitz with one of our routes. So again, it could be the stick route or it could be the slant route, depending on what either one of these defenders does. Okay. Now, again, if we saw this look right here, he could po he could pre-snap, excuse me, this linebacker right here, depending on what he does. Okay. If he shifts to the middle field, then that is the slant open. Or he could also read the concept side here. And he could read this defender. And depending on what that defender does, again, that's just a normal stick concept read right there. And then lastly, too, again, we also have the running back on the swing opposite side because there's no one out there. And again, we like the swing because it creates more space for the defender to get to the running back. And we like to have that, that swing kind of curl out so it gives the running back a little bit more space once he gets the ball in his hands to get his momentum going and be able to make a good, solid you call it quote unquote football move <laughs> to get upfield. So those that is one little look right there. We've seen um, very rarely, but we've seen it once or twice that we've seen essentially just a strict press man on our trip side. And even sometimes we might see press man across the board. If we do see that this linebacker might drop down to try and take away that swing. If it's going swing opposite side. Again, there are a couple little things we can do here. If we like this matchup right here, we can do the little peak, and then we can just one step and throw that ball out there because there's no way that this safety is going to be able to get to there to make a play on that ball. We have our man beater right here, the three-step slant. If we like this matchup as well, and even still, we can take the swing real quick to get that ball out there because, again, that's a, that's a lot of ground for that linebacker to cover. Um, and even if they are in press man here, this little cross right here between the H and the Z in a press man, that creates a little bit of confusion and it's almost like a little bit of a rub route. So that arrow route or flat route would be open immediately if they are in press man. So those are just a couple little um, pressures that we typically see out of our early formation or our late formation. Those are just some of the pressures that we have seen and how we would essentially attack them in our, uh, if we were calling our stick concept. Now, I'm going to show you a couple things here too as well, how we also dress this play up uh, and use motion to create a little bit of confusion and just to create a little bit of window dressing for the play as well. So one way we like to dress it up is we will start out in our um, our ace formation and we will just call it a simple rabbit motion where we will motion pre-snap motion H over to his spot right here. And then from there, we just run our normal stick concept.
from there. So he's got the flat arrow route. He's got the stick concept. He's got his vertical. There's the slant. There's the swing. So just based on the motion, and we kind of watch and see how they line up and how they they how they react to the motion. Another way we show it too is as you see here, we just by a simple little play call tells the running back to line up opposite side here. And this is just one way we little dress up. Or we'll do a little pre preset motion where we call a little jump motion right here, like that. He'll come here and line up almost like the split backs. And then from there, essentially what H will do is now he's running his swing out here. He's got the stick, vertical, swing this way, slam. And essentially it's still the same concept, okay? Again, we are still reading this player right here. If he goes in, we throw out. If he goes out, we throw in. And a lot of times this little motion will drag this linebacker in as well. So we kind of we want to see how they react to this motion as well. Now we can do a few other things out of this just so they don't know that we just run this type of motion. This is what we're doing. So we run a couple other little things out of this, just out of this little jump motion we call, uh, just to show it up and kind of just dress it up a little bit. But now here as well too, this is a little pre-snap, or I should say, uh, we called this early red or early blue, kind of just is an empty formation to start off with kind of just to see how the defense reacts and simply we want to see um, how this defender right here, how this defender covers this and what happens because our pre-snap motion is when we say just early red or early blue, this just tells line or the, the running back to pre-snap line up in the slot on either side. So right here, this would be early blue. And then we would just call a little bit of a pre-snap formation. He comes back into the backfield, either either side. He can be on this side or the other side. It doesn't really matter which way we tell him to go. And then from there, we are just simply, we can run our simple uh, concept out of it. Just all they did was change a few things as far as how the defense may line up on it. Again, there's your flat, your stick, and your oh, and your vertical, and that's how we would run it. Okay, so that would be again early blue, and the same thing would happen if we did early red as well. This is our early red formation right here, which tells F to line up on the right side. Now we do also do ace red, ace blue. And basically the rule is for our, if there are more than one receiver here, uh, to always line up in between the most outside and middle guy and middle receiver for our F and he's always off the line. So this would be our early red here to give, give us a quad look right here. And again, we are just trying to see how the defense covers this. And also another re reason we do this is again, a lot is worded. Now there are a couple things we can do out of this to, not make it look like it's the same play every time or to give the indication, okay, we're just doing this just as a decoy. There are a few things we, <clears throat> we do out of this to um, keep the defense honest. But, again, right, right here, this would be our early red. And what would happen is a pre-snap. He, again, can either come pre-snap back into the backfield, either here or the other side. And – then from there, we are just running our simple stick concept again, like like normal. So he's running. Whoops, that should be. Excuse me, hold on a second. Still in pre-snap motion. That should be our arrow, our flat route, our stick, our vert. He's running the swing opposite concept. And our slant. So again, we are again are trying to see how they react. Do they follow it? What do they do? Where are the openings? So we are just trying to see how they are lining up and how they are adjusting, how they are reacting to the motion. So these are just a few pre-snap motions that we like to use for our stick concept. We use it for other concepts as well. Um, again, it's, it's a simple little way to dress up the play. And on top of that, it's an answer to their answer as well. So 
if we start seeing pressures and we start mixing in a little bit of motions, it's typically what we find is it sort of slows down those pressures and allows us to have a little bit more success because we find, especially at this level, that if you start using motion a little bit, that the defensive eyes follow that motion. And a lot of times you can use that motion as a decoy to kind of move the defense to where you want to move them out of the way or get them focusing on another player while you go back to the other player and uh, that you wanted to originally go to in the first place. So there are just little unique little nuances that you can add to your offense or add to a simple little concept to make it look like a completely different play. But in all reality, you are just running the same old little play. Coaches, well, I hope that helped. Um, this, again, like I said, is a little bit of a series I'm doing. I plan on doing other concepts as well. If there are other concepts you want me to try and cover, maybe we haven't covered, maybe, maybe we can meet together and talk about it. But I plan on talking about corner. I talk, plan on talking about cross and also as well shallow, the certain plays that we run as well. So and how we answer the defense if they do a certain little thing here, here or there. Um, so I hope you're enjoying this series. I got more things to come. So stay tuned.